In this paper, a path planning algorithm for autonomous exploration of subterranean environments using aerial robots is proposed and verified through a set of field deployments inside an underground mine in northern Nevada. The exploration pipeline consists of two layers, namely a local and a global exploration layer. The local exploration layer is responsible for planning collision-free and safety-aware paths to explore the environment within a sliding local volume, while the global planning layer aims to relocate the robot to unexplored frontiers ensuring continuous exploration of the environment in case the robot reaches a dead end. Furthermore, the global planner keeps track of the time endurance of the robot and automatically triggers the homing procedure. In the first experiment, we demonstrate the rapid local exploration and safe return to home behavior of the proposed approach. The robot was deployed from outside the entrance of the mine, autonomously entered the mine, and continued to progressively explore the main drift. When the battery reached its critical level, the homing procedure was automatically triggered to bring the robot back to the home position safely. More specifically, the local planner first utilizes the Rapidly Exploring Random Tree or RRT star algorithm to generate collision-free paths and then selects a good exploration path primarily based on the calculated volumetric gain. Due to the uncertainties of the localization, mapping, and control modules, a safety metric for paths that are similar to the selected path are further evaluated to identify the best exploration path. At the same time, the global planner is continually expanded and maintained, utilizing paths from the local random tree. In the second experiment, the robot was deployed at the base of a T-intersection inside the mine to demonstrate the multi-branch exploration behavior of the global planning layer. During this experiment, the local planner first chose to explore the left branch based on its calculation of the volumetric gain. Once the robot reached the allowed boundary of the exploration space, the global planner was then triggered and repositioned the robot to the exploration frontier of the right branch before re-engaging the local planning layer. The right branch was then progressively explored until the robot's battery reached its critical level, at which point the homing procedure was engaged and the robot returned safely to its initial takeoff position. <laughs> 